hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> I'm Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. No problem. No problem. Thank you very much. Welcome, Cold, isn't it? Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How you doing? It's Big Pork here. And still, the voice of hardcore boxing. Little, uh, Little change of screeve this morning. So oh, it's cold, isn't it? Proper cold. Uh, I don't really know what to talk about today, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just go straight in, no messing about. Has Dillian White already had step aside money? Has he? Because I was going through the WBC history last night and there's only Dillian White and Callum Smith that have gone that long in WBC history being messed about with title chances we know Callum got there in end but it wasn't the WBC route were it and we know that Joshua jumped from WBC to IBF once Wilder were going to call it so this is how I look at it if Dillian White has had step aside money would we get to know about it and how would that make him look if he has had step aside money because we're talking about a man here that's looking at his fifth pay-per-view against Povetkin. He's a multi-millionaire, but yet he hadn't fired one solicitor's letter over to WBC. Because he's about legacy. But yet, as soon as people were calling him a drug cheat, he had lawyers hanging out at the back of him for four months, five months, whatever, however long it were. But yet, his world title shot that he deserves He's not once threatened legal action. Why is that? Is it because it'd have to involve Hearn and Hearn would have to do it? Or is it because he's got fighters who him and his brother manage at this black box management? I've heard they're pretty good actually. But is it because they want to work with Eddie and down the line and they don't want to rock the boat? What is it? What's going on with Dillian White? Why is he had? Why, why why was he told he can fight for WBC in 14 months? 14 months is an eternity in boxing. A couple of months ago, it looked like we we're all saying Wilder had beat Fury and Ruiz had beat Joshua in rematch, and Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren would be frozen out. Now look, I'm just I'm just giving an opinion. Whatever people think about it, so be it. Look at this here. Go on then. Just walking in the middle of the road when I'm driving. Me eyeballs, mate. Mind your bacon sandwich. I'm taking uh, this for a wash in a minute. I've, uh, I've had Rocky over steep this today, and I said I've had to jump in at four before and go over there because mine would be no good over there. It's not even any good in snow, mine. Two inches of snow and it won't, and it just sits there. So it's a bit sludged up. So I'm going to take it for a wash. I'll get some fuel in it as well, isn't it? It's running low. 
Oh, fucking great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. Let me have a look at this one here. Oh. There you go. Let me just set this now. Just turn it off. But uh I'm just kind of point that over there while I'm talking. But No, I just think that I think that we need some answers as regards Billy and White as he had step aside money. Would we get to know about it? Well, we nearly covered the but these ones. Supreme Diesel 131.8. Let's see if it makes a difference, eh? It's supposed to make a difference this Supreme, isn't it? What is it, an extra 10 pence? But now we're... Uh, couch it, you know, this has dropped it. But now, would we get to know? I don't think we would. But it's one of them things, isn't it? We're going to find out, aren't we, next? I don't know. But look, this is how I look at it. Gillian White can keep fighting your Povetkin, 41 year old, Lucas Brown, 40, Oscar Rivers, you know, Gillian White turned around and said he didn't want to fight Lewis Ortiz because he can't speak English. Oscar Rivers can't speak English, but he fought him, didn't he? You know what I mean? So, that's as far as I'm concerned. So, just my opinion, I'm entitled to it. So, I'm going to point that over there because they'll think that I'm uh, going to do a runner, won't they? Yep, I think I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna take it car wash. Then go on and wash me wellies. And sludged up to eyeballs. Yeah, let me just check how this works. Oh. Have a look. There you go. Now, but now we won't get to find out about. Uh, we won't get to find out about Dillian, I don't think. Waiting all day for you, mate. We won't get to find out what had happened is they'd just shut it down, wouldn't they? Just like they tried to do with that Thomas Hauser thing, but like I said, 
I just think that some people they can preach about legacy, but really it's about money. Dillian White preaches about legacy. And he's got a British title and that's it. But is this world feared guy that everybody's scared to death of shaking in their boots? Everybody's scared to death of Dillian White. He would have done that to Wilder, what Fury did, and they're running from him and blah de blah. Fat as a pig in his last fight in Saudi. Fat as a pig. Right? He's about legacy, but he's turning out in Saudi. Fat as a pig for no belt, but he's about legacy. How many belts has he actually got? Got a British title, and I don't count trinkets. If they're saying the world rank, he's got a British title, right? And that's it. I don't want to hear about all oh, this has been badly done to and all that. See that guy there? You know what I should do? I should reverse back up and smash him to bits. Steamy windows. Jesus. Yeah, there's there's a car parked opposite and a bus coming up, bro. I'm gonna open my van door. Hey? What a plant pot. What a plant pot. But no, I just can't get my head around it. And all them people. Right, he'll keep going on this comment section, right? All them people who are on that comment section and they keep going on about it, they know, they know. They know what's going on. We know what's going on, I know what's going on. It's a cash grab, isn't it? Let's get as much money as we can we are having an hard fight. I mean, what sort of man, right, listen to this, right. This sport is called boxing, and the holy grail in boxing, there's two fights that are the holy grail. The Anthony Joshua fight, and the Canelo fight. If you get offered either one of them, you take it with both hands. Ask Liam Smith. Ask Liam Smith about that. You take it with both hands. Or, what do you do? What do you do if you, if, if you don't, if you don't, where, where do you go in if you knock fights like that back? Dillian White knocked the Anthony Joshua fight back. And that is when I jumped off the Dillian White hype train. I'm not anti-White, but don't tell me for one minute that he wants to fight for a world title. He had the chance to fight Wilder, or to get to Wilder, Ortiz, Joshua rematch, Pulev. He's not gone near any of them. Not gone near any of them. So all, all you gimps from Gimpville Island, don't be telling me in emails about Dillian White being a feared man. He's a feared man when he's walking around his estate in Brixton. Because you're just dealing with normal people, aren't you, aren't you? So you can play tough guy around there, but let's have it right. He didn't want that Joshua smoking rematch, did he? That fight's always there, so it's probably a business decision, but don't tell me that it's about money. Look, Dillian White is tied to Eddie Hearn's apron strings. That's the bottom line. Nobody dare tell him. Nobody dare tell him. I'd tell him, I'd turn to his face. I said, Dillian, what, you, why don't you just move on and get a title shot with somewhere else? Because if your promoter's that bad, why don't you leave him? Leave your promoter, leave him. That's all you've got to do. Leave him. Get out of Dodge. Hit the train. All the money that you've had of Eddie Hearn so far, consider it severance pay. Take the train, mate. Take the train. That's how I look at it, mate. Take the train. So... But they're not going to do that, are they? They're not going to do that, are they? Do you know why? I'll tell you why they're not going to do it. I'll tell you why they're not going to do it. Because they're getting, they're getting money and over fist. And over fist. That's what they're getting. They're getting money and over fist. And it's pretty sad, really. 
pretty pretty sad pretty sad what's going on fans are being light we're being light and non-stop and do you know all these people it's sunny today isn't it all these people right that are in the boxing industry that are defending it they know they know what's going on they're not going to come out and say it are they right. they're not going to come out and say it So, it's just, it's just how it goes, isn't it? It's just how it goes. So, alright, so I just wanted to touch on that. It's uh, just one of them things, isn't it? It's one of them things where fans are being lied to again we're being lied to we're supposed to we're being told that Gillian White's this killer we might have a killer left hook but is he wanting to test his left hook against the best or who's his best win Parker that were life and death on it Rivers were life and death Oscar Rivers who can't speak English weren't that the reason they didn't fight Ortiz do you know what I mean Somebody once texted me, I wish I had a girlfriend who looked at me like Porky just looked at that suit. <laughs> but uh, I think Farmer Giles outfit today, aren't I? You know what, you know when you buy a new pair of wellies? After you wore them an hour, your toes are all bruised, aren't they? I've got that same problem. I've just been all the way over to Crook Hill, Crook Hill Golf Club with Dog. Oh, we're going to go conquering. All sludged up. But now I just think that... I think that sooner or later, fans are going to say, you know what, Russ? You bang on there. You bang on there, Russ. Bang on. But uh, it is what it is, isn't it, I suppose? But, or it is what it isn't. Like I said, we're being lied to. The Callum Smith situation and Dillian White. In fact, I shouldn't be so hard on Dillian White because we're going to make this video about Callum Smith and Dillian White. Now, Callum Smith, has he had step aside money from WBC? You know this step aside money, right? So I've, asked, I've asked people who are close to me how it all works. Let me just say this to you. That much different. Let me just say this to you. They don't have to put it out there about step aside money. It can all be confidential. It's been going on for years. I'm spitting all over the place like some dog here. I'm not doing inside of it, I don't think. But, uh, like I said, I just think that we're being lied to. Callum Smith and Dillian White, have they had step aside money? I think there's a possibility they have. If they had had step aside money, would they tell us? Would they come and say, do you know what? Uh, I've had step aside money. Of course they're not going to do. Because they will be called yellow. They'd be called yellow, wouldn't they? They'd be called yellow. When Carl Froch was WBC number one, chasing Carl Zaggy down, what did Carl Zaggy do? <laughs> Vacated and fought twice. People can say Carl Froch swerved James McGill when he was managed to with that. He did Joe, he, he knocked out Grove twice, who beat up the Gale. And retired, he didn't fight two more times, so as far as I'm concerned, Carl Froch is the man. He's the man. He's the yardstick. He's the yardstick.
I use the yardstick. Cheers, Mike. Yeah, he's the man, Carl Froch, but uh, but like I said, uh, they're not going to tell us if they've had step aside money, and that brings me to Joe Gallagher, Tesco Joe on patrol. When Callum Smith were fast tracked to WBC in them rankings, they were doing their best to swerve people. They were fighting D class, D class guys when they were WBC. Mandatory. They were fighting when they were number one, waiting for the slot. They were fighting D D class. Do you know what I mean? And Callum maybe weren't ready, but they, they slipped and slided, didn't they? And his manager Joe Gallagher done a fantastic job for him. We can't we can't have a go at him, can we? For that, he done a fantastic job of getting him f navigating him through choppy waters, and that's what Dillian White's doing. But Dillian White, in my opinion. Look at that, it's just took him five minutes to get all, all cow shit off it. This is the best bite I like when they soap it up. <laughs> uh, Dillian White's his own manager, isn't he? So he's not gonna negav it. Neg he's gonna get his send through choppy waters, isn't he? He's gonna swerve certain people unless the money's right. Dillian White against Tyson Fury in England is massive. But that fight can only happen if Dillian White goes with Frank Warren. And Dillian White, I'd have thought, would go with Frank Warren just for that fight. Because it's the, it's the holy grail, isn't it, for Dillian White, Tyson Fury now. Because Tyson Fury is a bigger star than Joshua now, isn't he? Joshua's been knocked out, hasn't he? He's gun shy. So Tyson's the man now. So Dillian White is going to look at it like this. The holy grail is Frank Warren. Frank Warren's the Holy Grail now, and Tyson Fury, Bob Arum. That's the place for Dillian White against Tyson Fury at Old Trafford. Dillian White against Tyson Fury at Old Trafford is a massive, massive, massive fight. It's massive, isn't it? It's massive. So, as far as I'm concerned, he won't think twice about dropping Eddie Hearn. Or would he? But like I said, he's got fighters, hasn't he? That Eddie Hearn's putting on Sky for him and that. So you don't know, do you? But is he going to pass up the chance to earn millions? I mean, Dillian, right, let's have it right, he's got a massive profile because he's got Coogan hanging out at the back of him all day long, getting exclusives. So he's got a massive, massive profile, hasn't he? I thought that interview we did in that car with Coogan was quite good actually. I thought Coogan asked the right questions, but he didn't push on the Ortiz twice, Joshua remarks, and the pool left fight. Four fights there. He didn't push on that, did you, Coogie Bear? Naughty naughty. Naughty naughty. He didn't ask the proper questions. But the actual what you got out of him, I thought were really good. All the rest of it about bullying and this and that. I don't want to hear about stuff like that and and some of the stuff for a bit. I mean, could you imagine sat next to these people on an aeroplane? Oh my god. But no, I just think that you're not too close to the paintwork, are you? Don't get too close. It's pearl white. You know, it glitters, doesn't it? Whatever pearl essence is it? Glitters, doesn't it? And it's rain and sun. Don't, don't take glitter off, are you? Don't take glitter off. But no, uh, I just thought, I just think that Dillian White and Callum Smith, I think they've had step aside money. I might be wrong. I've been wrong before, haven't I? Do you know what I mean? I don't get everything right here at Porky's Corner, do we? A lot of people trying to give me false information at the moment, so we have to watch that, don't we? People can pile you up a couple of months, then stick false information into you, can't they? You have to be careful of that. But, alright mate. But, uh It is what it is, isn't it? In fact, I might as well bring Merck back and I'll get this done here. But, uh, it is what it is, isn't it, I suppose. It is what it is. It's dirty, isn't it, today, mine? Dirty as old. You can't beat a good old tonka tonka morning, can you, Robert Cowfields? Sludged up to eyeballs.
can't understand your English, mate. Cheers, mate. Can't understand your accent. Can't understand your accent, pal. Does accent sound a little bit more, yeah? That better, yeah? Yeah, it's good, man. Yeah, uh, can't understand. I can't understand these people here. The accent, but they're good workers. Think that shammy boy. But have they had step aside money? I think they have. No, uh, people might say, uh oh, Morky, Morky, you're a hater. You're a hater, Porky. Porky, you're a hater. What can we do? There's no there's no hope for you. There's no hope for you. Hey, listen, that's a good one, isn't it? All them trolls who keep texting me. <laughs> uh, oh, God, I've had some corkers today. Um, I had some corker comments, because I only, re I only really read them once a week, but we've got thousands in, in a, what do they call it now? Let me just say something to save you wasting time to all your trolls out there. Certain words that you put that you send in, right? It comes up and it just goes goes into review for comment. So we don't even go out there. Alright, so just words that I don't like. You know like uh P R I C K <laughs> I'm just messing with you, but look. If there's five thousand comments or whatever, four or five thousand I must be doing something right because you keep watching so keep watching keep doing what you do and we'll uh, we'll do what we're gonna do how much am I on here 20 what? 28 minutes it's gonna end this minute, it? so alright so peace out keep on trucking You like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>